Hey, how you doing today? My name is Riley and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're jumping back into Hollow Knight and we are going to be talking about the Transcendence mod. There are 14 different charms in this game. I'm going to show you where all 14 of those charms are and we're going to talk about what they do. I'm really excited. This is going to be a cool one. So right now we are in Crystal Peak. This is normally where you would find Descending Dark over there to the right and over here on the left there is a little ledge and you will get the Anti-Gravity Amulet. What's cool about this amulet is when you use it you will jump so much higher and also fall a lot slower the one thing that i don't like about this charm though is that when you fall it's really easy to take that hard fall damage even if you're up just a little bit from what you're falling onto you're gonna fall hard over and over and over again if you're using mods though and you just turn on quality of life it should uh it should help you out at least a little bit it doesn't really make you fall a whole lot faster even though when you do the menu drop but you can you can kind of skip that fall animation a little bit which is at least that's helpful right the other thing that's really cool about this charm is it's going to make it so you can reach a ton of places that you can't normally make when you're doing the randomizer if you're into that kind of thing i thought it was really cool adding these charms to a randomizer the next charm we're looking for is blue moth wings and this is in green path and it's going to be right after you do the fireball skip in this area right here so in here, there's a hidden lore tablet up and to the right, and you actually have to dash into it. So dash through here. There you go. Pick it up. Blue Moth Wings. So we can go put it on. What's really cool about this charm is when you have it on, it makes it so you can use your Moth Wings over and over and over again, even if you don't have the Moth Wing Cloak, which is really cool because now you can jump infinitely, but... It costs you 10 geo per jump. So let me show you this. Let's say I take off the skill of moth wings. I can still 10, 20, 30. You can just jump forever, but it gets real expensive real quick. So the other, the, the, the one downside to this is it doesn't know or care if you do have moth wing. Cause even if you do have it, even that first jump will cost you 10. Even though you technically you already you already have that, it shouldn't charge. I feel like it shouldn't charge you for that first jump. All right, so this next one, we are at the City of Tears, coming from the King's Station, and this is one of my favorite charms, especially for a randomizer, because it increases your strength by so much. Uh, we are going after, of course, Lem's strength, and what this is going to do is it makes it so every time you pick up a new relic you are going to get an extra additional strength to your nail. I think your base damage on your nail might go to one and then it increases one for every relic you have. Like, it is awesome. So we find it right here, which is right next to the fountain. And so we pick this up. It costs three normally to use if you just pick it up now, unless you have like randomized charm notches. Next up is over at the Lake of Thune. And so this is in Green Path next to the bench right here is the florist blessing what this is going to do is going to give you three times the amount of nail damage but if you take even one hit it will break and you are going to have to get it repaired the next charm is snail slash and is hidden in the deep nest area unfortunately it's like kind of in a fairly secret spot so here we are on the map we are at the distant village we're going to head over to the right, and we will make our way up and around, watching out for the little buggies. And so it's actually, if you want to skip forward, is at the Hornet's uh, Secret Room, if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know where Hornet's Secret Room is, just, just stick with me. We'll get there quickly. It's just over here. Again, here we are on the map. We're going to go to the right and then drop down just a little bit, but it's pretty much oops, in this room. Just make sure you grab this grubby. This is a breakable floor, so it'll allow you to drop and come down. Again, this is where we are on the map. We're kind of like the top right of this area. And don't forget that there is a big guy right here. Sometimes he's like hidden and you can't see him. And so right here, there's actually a breakable wall. So we broke it open with our spells. And so now when we come over here, this is the Weaver's Den. Again, this is kind of a secret spot because we're going to have to go through some, uh, some secret breakable walls that you wouldn't know they were there 
right off the bat. So this is a charm, but this is not what we're looking for, as we were song. If you jump up and do you hear that sound? And that is the sound of a secret. And then from here, get rid of this. And so it almost looks like there's nothing here, right? Well, you'd be wrong because Hornet has a secret room right here. And this is where we're going to find our charm. This is Snail Slash. And what it's going to do is it's going to make it so you get a ton more soul. You're going to get double the soul intake from all sources, but your nail is only going to deal one damage. All right, so I just equipped it and just to test it out, instead of taking nine hits, five. It takes five hits to fully increase your soul. So that one was Snail Slash. Next, we're going to go find Snail Soul. So next up is Snail Soul, and this one is really cool because it is going to slow down your fireballs by a, a factor of four, meaning your fireballs are going to go super, super slow and allow you for like triple, even quadruple hits. Some enemies, they just keep taking damage. They just they just don't know how to get out of it. They just keep, they just get pushed back, like the knockback from your fireball, and they just keep taking damage over and over and over again. Okay, and right here on the map, you can see we are in Fog Canyon to the left of the teacher's archives, so we will keep going. And as we're going, you need to make sure to watch out for the new merch that we have. We got new merch every month. So make sure to check that out. I'll put the link in the description for you as we make our way through, you know? Just just take a look. Sometimes sometimes we got some good stuff. All right. So, now we will actually drop down and you either need shade cloak or you need the other side to be opened. But we got shade cloak. So we're going to go over here and grab this snail soul. Let me show you what this looks like because it looks really cool. All right, watch this. Watch this. It was like one hit. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of OP against certain bosses. Could you imagine? Oh, man. I wish Umu was always that easy. All right, so the next charm that we're going after is called the Shaman Amp. And this one was super fun on the randomizer because what it does is it makes all of your spells bigger based on how much geo you have. So if you're doing your randomizer and it's taking you a while, it gives you incentive to keep picking up more and more geo or it just makes your game kind of ridiculous when you get to late game stuff. So uh, here we are. Uh, this is this is where you normally have uh, the God Home area right over at the bottom left and so we're going to come into this way here and we're going to where we have the fluke hermit room which is up here over the right underneath here break this open and there we go nice little charm just steal that thing and let me show you how big the spells get. They're huge! Ha! Ah, it's my face, the whole screen! Boom! Ja. But what if what if we had more geo? How big does it get? Let's get like a ridiculous amount of geo. You know, just doubled up to 38. No, it's a lot more than double. 38,000? Yeah! Ah! Everything's dead! Oh my gosh. I should try any radiance with this. What do you think? You think I could do it like this? Ah! Next up, we have the Nitro Crystal, which we are going to be in Crystal Peaks for this one. Right now, we are right here. So we are above where you would find Coral normally. Oh, of course, we always take damage there. That's pretty normal, right? And so right here where we would normally find Coral is the charm nitro crystal so we are halfway there nitro crystal when equipped will double the speed of crystal heart ah it's so fast and it increases the damage of it to 40 which is kind of ridiculous ah, it's so fast. Ah! 
All right, so from here, the next one's not too far away. It's called the Crystal Master, and it is gonna increase movement speed based on the amount of geo that you have, which I think is pretty cool. So we will come over this way. We're gonna come up and to the right, and it's over where you'd find your pale ore over at the top of the Howlin' crown. So we'll just get through all this stuff, and oh, all right, just act like that didn't happen. All right, so once we make our way here, we're gonna make our way almost all the way to the top and This way and Up And is it this one there we go. Yeah, there's a little breakable wall here super easy to miss And here we go is the charm crystal master. I we, we gotta put this on check this out so what this is going to do is increase movement speed semi-proportionally up to 3x of your movement speed based on how much geo you have. Ah, it's so fast. It is slower to use our dash. <laughs> it like almost stops us in comparison when we use our dash, but it takes up 1% of geo. Look at that. We just spent 350 geo. So yeah, we are the speedy. Speedy, I should use this for all my tutorials. We'll just we'll just fly through everything. But I think people would get upset because they wouldn't be able to follow. We'd be going too fast. All right. So from Kingdom's Edge, there are two charms that are super close together. So we'll go ahead and pick them up both. One of them is called the Chaos Orb. And what it's going to do is it allows you to get the effects of three separate charms at the same time. And so the base cost of this is only three which is great because it's not too expensive to put on three charms, but it changes every 30 seconds. So you never know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates in that way, right? So you pick this up and it kind of seems like Bardoon. <laughs> this silly little guy, uh, like he pooped it out himself, right? So if we keep climbing up, there is another charm that we can get called the disinfectant flask. And what this one's going to do is it's going to make it so when you go to an infected area, especially after you have unlocked a dreamer, um, freed any of the dreamers or picked up the monarch wings, uh, which is the double jump. And you got those infected areas. Well, now for one geo, you can unlock any locked paths due to the, the infection. So real quick, here is the crossroads, and this is all infected. We can't get through there, but if we go back and we throw on this right here, disinfectant flask, and we'll do this one for funsies. Will it tell us what, what we have active? Let's see, currently granting the effects of Spore Shroom, Milliby's Blessing, and Fragile Strength. Well, we will check out Milliby's Blessing here in just a second. But look at that, there is no more infection. So the next one is Millibel's Blessing. And what it's going to do is you're actually going to earn interest on the geo that you're holding, which is so awesome, especially if you're using this with some of the other charms that either cost geo or give you a benefit based on how much geo you're holding. So you come over to Fog Canyon, you head over to where, is it M Melibe? M Millibel? I don't know how to pronounce her name. I've always butchered this. Melody, Melodil? Oh my gosh, don't, don't, don't judge me, all right? I can't read names. All right, so the next second to last charm that we're gonna find is called Greed Song, not to be confused with the Grub Song. And so, you didn't see nothing. We are gonna make our way up to the top, over here. And you got to make sure you got that sweet, sweet love key. You'll make your way through here. And you will also have to destroy you know who. So once you defeat the collector, make your way up here to where the grubs are. You have to free the grubs 100%. You can't, you can't do this and not free the grubs. It's a requirement. Come up here. And right here we have the Venusian, Venetian, Ventruvian grub. You get the greed song. And so you don't get a ton of geo, and it's not based on how much geo you hold. You, you just take damage, and geo splashes out. So you equip the charm, the right charm, and look at that. And, and geo just comes flying out of your body. It's a little bit random. It's not the same amount every time. 
So last but not least is going to be Marissa's audience. And this one's pretty cool because it doubles the number of familiars, like the little, uh, uh, the troops you spawn out, right? And so I think it's here, if I remember right. And yes. So we're going to make our way almost all the way to the top. Of this elevator, there is a, a secret room to the right. I just don't remember which one. I'm going to get off here. Aha! I got it. So what is this one? That's the rancid egg. But over here, this is where you would have Poggy Thorax and Marissa's audience. So let me show you what it looks like. All right. So normally when we add on Weaver Song and Glowing Womb, this one right here, we can only get so many of them. So there's our, there's our weavers. Let's start getting our... That's a baby face. I am absolutely blown away. A viewer of mine made this skin, the Relia skin, and this is the first time I've ever seen the baby faces. I am... <laughs> Maddie, well played. I've never, like, I've been using this skin for like well over a year, probably two years now. And oh my gosh, that is absolutely ridiculous with Marissa's audience. We can double, we can double the amount of our flying friends and they can do all of the attacking for us. In fact, you know, let's go take them out. Let's go take them for a little walk. Attack, attack babies. Again, thank you so much to all of you who are watching and to my members of the channel. You are awesome. And I love all the support. Again, my name is Relia. I'll talk to you again more real soon. Thanks. Bye.